God says, examine yourself, rather you be in the faith. To whom can I speak and give warning? Who will listen to me? Their ears are closed, so they cannot hear. The word of the Lord is offensive to them. They find no pleasure in it. But I am full of wrath of the Lord, and I cannot hold it in. Pour it out on the children in the streets and on the young men gathered together. Both husbands and wives will be caught in it. And the old who are weighed down with years. In the passage it said, his word has become offensive to them. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the, the good way is and walk in it. And you will find rest for your soul. But you said, we will not walk in it. I appointed watchmen over you. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look and said, listen to the sound of the trumpet. But you said, we will not listen. Therefore, hear, O nations, observe, O witness, what will happen to them. Hear, O earth, I am bringing disaster on this people, the fruit of their schemes, because they have not listened to my word and have rejected my law. It ties into a number of, of prophecies made in the Old Testament, these warnings of coming judgment, uh, of a coming doomsday because people are not following the, the, the rules of the law. The seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air. Out of the temple came a loud voice from the throne saying, It is done. Then there came flashings and lightnings and rumblings and pearls of thunder and severe earthquakes. No earthquake like it had ever occurred since man had been on the earth. So tremendous was the quake that the great city split into three parts and the cities of the nations collapsed. From the sky, a huge hailstone of about a hundred pounds each fell upon men. They cursed God on the account of the plague of the hell because the plague was so terrible. Every island fled and the mountains could not be found. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? How many of you would be upset if Jesus Christ was to come back this coming week? When you get before the kingdom of God, what are you going to say? Um, my pastor never told me. He's going to say you had a Bible. If you don't have Christ and you leave this world without Jesus, you have wrote your own ticket. I'm preaching Christ's return before the end of 2010. to worry about what Satan's doing if you're in your Bible and you're truly living for Christ. But if you're committing crimes against God and you think that God don't see you. See, some people say, oh, you know, if my pastor don't know, I'm okay. But you know what? I'm, let me tell you something. I never died on a cross and I was never resurrected. And I won't be there on your judgment day. How many of you would be upset if Jesus Christ was to come back this coming week.
Taking one left, the truth was spoken Once Christ stepped on the scene and the door was open But only if you was obedient to die with the king He didn't have no gold necklace or no diamond rings He was a direct source from the Elohim He said I go to prepare a place for you and me So I keep my garments on so I be ready to leave